Allah said, Verily, Qawrun was of Musa's people, but he behaved arrogantly towards them. And we gave him of treasures, that which of the keys would have been a burden to a body of strong men. Verily, Allah gave him huge money and bulky treasures, which reached his bulkiness to an extent that his keys were heavy for strong men to carry. But the enemy of Allah was unjust and proud. He rebelled from obedience to Allah. So some of his relatives said, by way of sincere advice to him and warning him, don't rejoice. Allah doesn't love those who rejoice, but seek with that which Allah has bestowed on you, the home of the hereafter. Meaning, do not rejoice with the delights of the dunya and turn away from the dunya and work towards the akhirah, the hereafter. Qarun replied to the advice saying, this has been given to me only because of the knowledge that I have. Qarun went forth one day before his people with his magnificent treasures, wealth, wearing his fine clothes, accompanied by his fine horses, his servants. When those who desired the world saw his adornments and splendor, they wished that they could have the same as he had been given and said, Ah, would that we have the likes of what Qarun has been given. Verily, he is the owner of a great fortune. When the people of beneficial knowledge heard this, they said to them, Woe to you! The reward of Allah is better for those who believe and do righteous deeds. And this none shall attain except the patient. And Qarun was destroyed in a state of transgression and pride. And the dunya was adorned to him, which increased him in self-conceit, leading to his sudden punishment. So Allah caused him and his horses and his house and his wealth to be swallowed by the earth. The recompense is of the nature of the action. As he elevated himself, Allah lowered him by causing him to be the lowest of the low. All that was from what he was deceived by of his house and his wealth and the passing enjoyment he had. Thereby, he wasn't helped nor supported.